Howdy y'all, this is OBB, the iCast News Guy, and today we're going to be doing another NASCAR diecast review, and it's going to be on a guy that I have a lot of diecast to review on, so might as well go and get this one out of the way. I picked this car up from my good friends at Lester's Diecast, and uh, kind of a random one, but I uh, actually do like this paint scheme a lot. It kind of has a nice, cool, matte, glossy finish to it, um, if you guys want to say that, but it is going to be on diecast. It's been out for quite a while now, but it has been sort of dried up a little bit. It is on Bubba Wallace's 2020 WWT car, and probably wondering what the hell does WWT mean? Well, I like my acronyms, um, but um, that stands for Worldwide Technology, also the official sponsor for Gateway, which they renamed it to Worldwide Technology Raceway. Screw it, I'm still calling it Gateway. I don't like it when sponsors, you know, rename the tracks. I mean, remember ISM Raceway? <clears throat> God, that was such a flop. But yeah, really awesome looking diecast right here. Uh, shout out to all the Bubba fans out there on Twitter. Uh, you guys know who you are. Um, my god just what a beautiful diecast this is right here guys really cool um it definitely has a nice little uh, i guess you could say a pity blue vibe to it but really unique looking diecast i mean this ain't the first time we've got a worldwide technology diecast release for bubba but i really just wanted to pick this one up because i did not really got the last ones that we've had from a few years but considering this is good considering next year is gonna be a big year for bubba wallace oh boy this could be a diecast that is going to be Really interesting review. But anyways, guys, enough of me just jibba-jabbing and talking away. Let's go ahead and kick off this diecast review and the official unboxing of the Bubba Wallace 2020 Worldwide Technology Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 1LE for Richard Betty Motorsports. Alrighty, guys, we got this diecast out of its box, and my god, what a beautiful diecast this is right here. I mean, um, this is not really a paint scheme that hasn't really changed ever so often. I mean, there are some problems with this diecast. You see right there with the little uh, decal glow we got. I mean, kind of the same situation we had with the uh, U.S. Air Force Warthog car from last year. This year, it looks like they cleaned up their act on that, but still don't know why they did that to me. It looks kind of just wonky, especially since that blue is supposed to be up the front, and... That's just the wrong shade of blue. Just, I don't know, those little things bug me. Another thing I don't really like about this paint scheme is these logos right here. McDonald's and Alsco. Um, don't know why they're there. It kind of interrupts with the pity swoosh. Uh, it doesn't look too bad on here, but on the uh, on the U.S. Air Force Warthog car, which I will be reviewing very soon. So if you guys are looking forward to more bubble reviews, subscribe today because I got a lot more to review, um, including that. And if you guys want me to review his Black Lives Matters car, I know that's going to be a controversial one, but I'm looking forward to reviewing that one because that one actually has, um, you know, um, it's a pretty popular diet diecast but but yeah guys this is what like the third year worldwide technology is sponsored bubble wallace might be the last as you guys know um this is actually his main this actually i believe his primary car from this year from what i'm mistaken um of course his paint scheme is quite well very well known um for what happened at the bristol all-star race between the incident with him and michael mcdowell i mean of course as you guys know this is not the all-star car because the numbers aren't switched but to be honest, this looks a lot more better. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the number change, and seeing most of those diecasts now getting canceled, it just shows you that, yeah, I mean, uh, that was quite an experiment, but, heck, nobody does not want the numbers over here. The numbers belong over here, right below, in the middle of the car, right below the driver's window net. It's just how it should be. I'm sorry. Maybe for the Gen 7, if the body style is different, then it could work, but... I'm sorry, man. The diecast just will look bad, if that's the case, but seeing most of these got canceled, I can't say I'm not surprised, but... um. Yeah, it's kind of shame that Bob Wallace didn't make an end to the All-Star race because, I mean, heck, um, I think he made it in last year from what I remember because he had that little race off between, um, he won, like, the showdown race last year, if I'm not mistaken, between him and Daniel Suarez. But, yeah, um, this year he didn't got so lucky, and I know a lot of the haters are probably happy about that. But, you know what, man? Um, there's one thing I'm not going to tolerate, and I'm not going to tolerate the Bubba hate. So, if you're a Bubba hater and you're watching this video, um, you know, keep it civil. If not, then I'll just probably read your comments and block you because I don't tolerate any of that stuff one bit all right so just saying all right i'm just here to review diecast and not to be controversial in any way shape or form all right but there's gonna be some perk out there it's good to you know gonna say oh bubba uh, do, 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 you know that f stupid jesse smollett comment like don't even start on that but anyways enough of me talking about that i do like this diecast a lot pretty cool you have worldwide technology silicon valley and st louis uh that is a different way to spell louis it's like louise but Lewis, um, not like my friend Lewis. <laughs> Shout out to Lewis if you guys don't know who he is. I mean, uh, he will make a return on uh, the Chase Daily Hooters truck review. Um, so if you guys are looking forward to an entertaining review, be sure to tune into that very shortly because 
we're definitely gonna have a ball with that one that's for certain we gotta check it for a jetty that's pretty cool that uh i think all uh, on all of bubba's cars for this year i believe he has that on top of his roof uh which is pretty cool because that's supposed to represent john andretti as you guys know he passed away very early this year silicon valley and saint l which stands for st louis i'm assuming Nothing on the deck, but usually there's an Eckridge logo, but I see they dropped out sponsorship. Well, they went with Amarola. I know that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's literally the exact same paint scheme from two years ago. I think the 2019 version of this car got canceled. Um, and we were supposed to get a 30th anniversary car that um, Bubble ran in as well, uh, which ironically got a top 10 in at Indianapolis. So, you know, Bubba's had some good runs in this car. I think he ran a, like... I don't know, you think he ran like about like six or seven races in this car, if you want to count the 30th anniversary car. So, you know, technically a main sponsor, but he's been getting a lot. This is before Bubba Wallace got all that big mainstream media. Um, and then he has like a ton of sponsors now. But I'm really looking forward of all the all the of the of the Danny Hamlin uh and Michael Jordan racing cars that we're gonna get for Bubba Wallace next year, man. Uh, with the number 23. That is gonna be really cool. I mean, I can already see that being a hot seller. I mean, Bubba's a pretty well-known mainstream driver now in NASCAR. So hopefully we're gonna see this guy in Victory Lane pretty soon because he had a lot of good runs, guys. He even ran pretty well in this car at uh, Daytona, if I'm not mistaken, the Daytona night race. He even had a shot to freaking win that race. I mean, like he got like his first top five in that car, which is pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. I will admit that. I do not have a car to compare this to, guys, but it's literally like the 2018 one. And, um, yeah, like I said, the 2019 one was canceled. But the only difference is probably some changes in the sponsorships and logos and all that. Um, and, of course, the Chevrolet Camaro mold as well. I mean, nothing new right there, but that is the updated mold, which we also know that by now. I mean, um, the only cars that do not have the updated mold are the iRacing cars. Ooh, a paint chip. But yeah, I mean, this paint scheme ain't too bad. I don't mind at all. I mean, it's kind of simple, but there is some going on right here. Like, I don't know what this is, a, like smoke or like water or something. Like, I don't know what that is, but it's pretty cool and unique. I like that. And it definitely feels like a classic petty car. I mean, since we, I mean, STP is still on the car, by the way. They're just a Bepo sponsor. So this is probably the best you can get for an STP car. I mean, it, it's not really the same colors. I mean, my camera is kind of oversaturating the red. The red's a lot more duller in person. Uh, same with the blue as well. It's more like a tealish compared to the petty blue. Um, but probably this is the closer you're going to get to, you know, that petty blue, that that very iconic 43 STP car. The closer you're going to get, I can see why this car has been a hot seller because of that. But um, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it sucks that STP is no longer a main sponsor for Richard Petty. They still are, but not a main one. But whatever, though. My name has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Thanks for watching this Diecast review of the Bubble Walls 2020 Worldwide Technology Chevrolet Camaro Z01 1LE for Richard Petty Motorsports. Uh, like I said, I got two more Diecast reviews for this guy. And feel free to comment below which one you want me to review first. Apparently, I can't talk English today, so this might be a good wrap up right here. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time on another Diecast review. This has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Catch you guys next time.